Hey, this is Jess from Metabase. So let's talk about the differences between Metabase and Looker. Um, so a lot of people who have used Looker in the past now choose Metabase because they can get very similar outcomes at a fraction of the price without needing to know proprietary modeling language. Metabase also just generally has a lower learning curve. So everyone in your team, even your less technical or data savvy teammates can ask questions and run queries with or without SQL and run ad hoc reports on their own. So coming back to that modeling language I mentioned, fans of Looker love LookML, and for good reason. It's really cool, powerful technology. But something you should know is that you pretty much cannot use Looker at all without LookML. So anytime you bring in a new data source to your BI tool, it needs to be modeled by a data professional. Metabase, on the other hand, lets you use uh, modeling tools like dbt it integrates with what, whatever's in your data stack and you can also create models directly in metabase um, and i can show you what i mean by that with something i created earlier let's make sure we're in the right place here so uh, you can see here i've just created a basic question that joins um, our product and reviews tables uh, with a recency filter there um, from here i can turn this into a model so that anyone in my team can use this as the starting point for new explorations. And it just kind of gives me a little bit more control to make sure that they're using only, or they're, they're using reviews that were created within the past year um, with metadata as well. So that will show up when they hover on column headers or in the query builder when you use it to create a new question. You can also mark your models as verified so that people know what are more trustworthy data sources. Uh, just toggle that on here. There we go. So that's an idea of how models look in Metabase. Um, something else that you should know is, um, yeah, coming back to the pricing piece. Um, understanding Looker's pricing is a little bit of a black box. It's kind of hard to, to get a clear overview if you search around. What we have heard from customers who have switched to Metabase is often that they're saving a ton of money um, in changing that subscription. So um, sometimes it's as much as six figures. Um, again, you can do your research and, and see what comes up. Um, another thing, Looker's customer success department. So Looker used to be really well known for their customer success and technical help. I think at one point they were even called the Department of Customer Love. Um, from what we understand, that changed a lot once Looker was acquired by Google. Um, and you can Google this. Um, there are a lot of people saying that they just do not get the same level of support. They have trouble with troubleshooting their issues, which is a problem that customers with Metabase very rarely have. Um, the Metabase customer success team is all engineers, super helpful and ready to jump in with whatever you need and can even just give advice on best practices. So uh, Metabase is trusted by over 50,000 customers with their analytics from BI, uh, sorry, from startups looking for their first BI tool, all the way through to enterprise level customers like Datadog, Holland and Barrett, Comcast, Zalando, and more. Um, so take my word for it or give it a try for yourself. You can start with a 14 day free trial, connect to your data source, work with whatever's already in your data stack, um, and get querying within five minutes. Try it out, let us know what you think.